Uh, I think there's a lot of a lot of great guys at that weight. Um, I think some of them talk a little too much, but uh, <laughs> but uh, it is it's, it's, it's great. There's great guys up there. I'm a new guy coming up, so you know they could underestimate. They can talk, but. Is it exciting that there are good fights to be made at that division? I mean, 147 was a good one too, no question. But. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. I, I moved up a weight class, and the fact that I can still make uh, so many fights is, is good. So now you fought a much higher level of opposition than your opponent. How much of an advantage do you feel that might be in the fight? Um, I think that's that's a good advantage. Um, I have more experience. I've been in there with with, with, uh, with the better guys. Um, so we just have to see how everything plays out when we get in there. Was there something Kodo said to you after you defeated him that was a kind of passing of the torch? Did he say something like, good job, kid? Did he give you any specific career advice? Kodo was just always really, really respectful, even even before the fight. You know, I, I really I really liked Kodo. Um, he was just very congratulating. You know, he didn't say anything bad. You know, well, I meant something possibly good, like yeah. you're faster than I thought, or you'll do oh, well no. at this division, you know, in this division. No, nah, he didn't. He didn't say that. But he just said more like, you know, congratulations, you know, good luck in your in your career. The thing, things in that. That's got to be pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, as a baton passing, that's got to be. Yeah, cool. yeah, it was awesome. Have you spoken to him since? No, we, I mean we haven't spoken. No. Saddam, so, um, did you get the level of respect from media and fans and everyone from that win as you expected? Maybe you would or should. No. Yeah. Coach talking about it. Oh, there yeah, we go. There yeah, we go. He's no, quiet no. this whole time. Coach talking about it. I mean, uh, for, for, for yeah. some people, yes. Uh, but there's also still some people that, that doubt. Not not just not just the media. Yeah, even fans too. You know, they don't. They seem want to fight. You know, and they, they, they try to discredit it in a way as well. So they don't really. They need to see more of me. You know, and at the end so of the day. You don't take it personal and angry? I don't know. I don't take it personal at all, honestly. Uh, it motivates me in it, ways, it maybe, but I mean, I, I would prefer not to, because at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter what anybody says, what anybody thinks. When I go in there, it comes down to me and God, and, and, and I'm gonna be great regardless of what anybody says. It's not, it's not gonna stop me. You know, if I'm destined to be great, I'm gonna be great. So uh, me personally, I don't really let it bother me. It, sometimes it does, you know, add fuel. Yes, it makes you like, okay. Well, it bothers me. Yeah, I don't believe you, too. right? He, right. Saddam is one of the most humble, uh, one of the kindest, uh, one of the most endearing fighters on the planet. Um, everybody loves him, even the haters love him, and they love to hate him so they can love him more. <laughs> and um, it bothers me because he was set up with an assignment that a lot of people thought he would not, uh, not even to say he surpassed, but that he could even contend with. And he did that, he rose to the occasion, he, he did what was asked of him, and he excelled. And yet and still now, uh, people still will discredit the, the win. They would say that Cotto was too old, but if Cotto would have won the fight, it would have been uh, business as usual. So give Saddam, give my nephew the credit he deserves. He, he worked for it. When his father and I were brick a brack and back and forth and he told me we're fighting Kodo and I said, no, we're not. He said, yes, we are. I said, no, we're not. He said, yes, we are. I said, okay. And then Saddam said, no, I want to fight him. I said, all right, well, we have to get ready for this, Simon. And uh, Lenny and I and Curtis, we all got together and we pushed and we shoved and we slapped and we pinched and everything else to make sure that Saddam was ready to win this fight. And now Saddam is fighting a, an opponent who um, is 28-0 with 24 knockouts. Uh, his resume reads nowhere near what Saddam's is. And um, you still have people saying, well, you know, I think Saddam's going to lose this fight. That bothers me. That bothers me. When you excel to elite <coughs> status, and then you have a young man, and I'm not discrediting him, not at all, but when you have a young man who hasn't performed at the level or the stages that Saddam has, and you're going to give him credit to defeat Saddam Ali, you must be on crack. <laughs> it, it's not going to go down that way.